Okay, so uh, in the previous classes we have discussed about uh, your own home scrapping, the you can say the inversion of double side of the same, those things already we have discussed. Okay, so at the end uh, about the old home scrapping we have discussed, where we have seen uh, for basically connecting two parallel stuff, those axes are at a particular small distance apart. So, in those kind of cases, we use this particular all time scrapping. Okay, so I believe all of you can recall that. Yes, let me know. Okay, I'm considering this to be yes, as you are now if you are saying anything. So today we will be going for uh, another topic that is about the straight line machine mechanism. So uh, if you can recall one of the classes, so there we have discussed about the works mechanism. There we have seen that this works mechanism, okay, it can give rise to a particular approximate straight line motion mechanism. Okay, we can trace a the tracing point in the work mechanism, can trace a straight line path. Okay, which is almost straight line for most of the duration of that particular time and at the two ends it basically deviates from the straight line behavior so those kind of uh, mechanism where we uh, from from a particular trace point or the point of interest traces a particular straight line behavior but uh, it, it's kind of like a like you say, just like in the case of a mechanism it is kind of somewhat deviates from the straight line mechanism so we basically call them as approximate straight line so similarly we can also have sometimes uh, in some of the straight line motion mechanisms which are generally lower pair mechanisms so we basically have the lower pair, lower pair which constitutes this particular mechanism okay so these are lower pair mechanisms generally and uh, it may be exact straight line or approximate straight line depending on uh, actually the particular <coughs> guides okay, the tracing point or the uh, a reciprocating part which uh, we are going to guide whether it is tracing an exact straight line or approximate straight line so based on that the two names are there okay so from the name itself it is uh, like uh, it is uh, understood that a straight line motion mechanism will guide a reciprocating part in a exact straight line and the uh, approximate straight line motion mechanism in design in such a way that middle and the two extreme positions of the guided point are in a straight line and the intermediate positions deviate as it is as possible from that particular so uh, now as we are saying that these are the straight line mechanism so where we are going to use that so basically see, there will be this mechanism all of you already know we use this to do or accomplish certain tasks okay transfer and transformation of motions etc those are also the tasks so apart from that sometimes we have to have like you can say uh, certain some of the parts okay we want to keep a motion okay and that motion should be kind of you can say in a straight line it should certain a particular part or that particular mechanism support so in those cases basically uh, to accomplish this kind of motion where then uh, a straight line motion or straight line part is uh, under required so we use different mechanisms which falls under straight line motion mechanism straight line mechanism or straight line motion. So some of the examples for exact straight line motion mechanism includes auxiliary mechanism, heart mechanism, Scott Russell mechanism, etc. And uh, approximate straight line motion mechanism examples we can consider the uh, modified of Scott Russell mechanism. Mechanism. That is the modified one. The name itself is modified Scott Russell mechanism. We have but one interesting mechanism known as the grasshopper mechanism. Also, as we have already discussed, already discussed work mechanism, surface mechanism, robot mechanism, etc. Are basically straight line motion. Okay, so the straight line that we are talking about, it can be given by using either turning pairs or sliding pairs. So out of these two, which one do you think is uh, best for using? So basically, the better option is using uh, going for if you go for turning pair, generally the wear and tear is kind of less. So the uh, accuracy of the accuracy is maintained actually okay accuracy is maintained for a longer duration of time accuracy of the mechanism so but uh, if that involves kind of different sliding pair so the early sliding pairs the slider and the guide those things will be there once again this kind of the surface contact definitely is there and generally what happens they are generally bulkier and uh, due to higher level of the uh, friction generally more wear and tear that is there 
to do something uh, complete by using turning pair, so it is the best to do here yeah, rather than using the stack. Understood? The stack mechanism where we use it in what other footage. Yes, only let me know. Yes, so there are so many other files that works, so there are some different kind of other files that are in the social media category. So, this video or your application setup. So, first example that is for the system to be better place. You are the person here. Okay, so now here it basically consists of our eight links that we can see here. This one is this thing, then we have to one a second link, the first thing we see, third link, CA fourth link. And, Excuse uh, me, sir. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Your voice is breaking, sir. Not audible. Yeah. So, for others, is it okay? You know, others? No, sir. It's breaking. Okay, so previous, right now, is it is it okay now? Is it okay now? Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so here this particular uh, mechanism it consists of eight links. So like so this is the kind of uh, OA1, that is O O1, this is the fixed link you can see. So and uh, all the links are basically uh, you can see like these are pin jointed. Okay, so the joints are nothing but pin joint. So uh, so if they are kind of pin joint, that means they are constituting what kind of pair? So it's a turning pair that it is constituting okay so other links like uh, as we are saying there it has a rate link so other links are these links o one a this one then uh, this bigger one that is the o c then uh, we have got o d another one similar to this okay then we have got a d d b this particular okay p c and c a so all of these are basically they are turning pairs because of the nature of the hinge. Okay, so now here O1A, this particular link is behaving like the driving crank. As you can see, uh, this this pin that particular A position, okay, it is constrained to move along the circumference of this particular side. So as it is becoming the crank, so this particular when a complete rotation is there, then if you think of this particular location A, so then it is going to trace this particular part that is nothing but a circle, right? So now here what happens according to the design itself. So this link length AC is equal to CB, which itself is equal to BD equal to AD, as well as this O01 and O1A, that is the crank. So these two lengths are also same. That means when it is rotating, so somewhere during its motion, this point A will coincide with point O also because this is the same length. Okay, so now uh, it's very easy if we think of the particular two triangles O R C, this this O R C and B R C and this and B R C. They are basically similar triangles. So, uh, uh, like you can say, they are so 90 degree right right angle triangle. So we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So O C square equal to O R square plus R C square. Similar is the case for this one. This is square you can of you, you can easily obtain. So if we just subtract uh, second one, second equation from first, what I will get? We are going to get O C square minus B C square equal to. We can write R C square R C square will get cancelled. So R square minus R B square. So this I can write. It's like a minus a square minus b square, so I can write like a plus b all into a minus b. Okay, and so what happens here? O R plus R B will give rise to O B, this one. Okay, and O R minus R B is going to give us O A. So this length is O A, and this whole length is O B. So now what we have seen that means the product of this O B and O A that is O A and O B this length. Okay, it is remaining constant because you see. This is a this is going to be kind of constant because all this OC length and BC length are nothing but a already set length from this particular mechanism. Okay, so what you can write hence this particular point which is at the far end of this okay OA and OC this product is constant OA into OB. So, 
okay so now this particular point is going to trace a straight line and in which direction it is going to trace a straight line in the path straight path perpendicular to the diameter op okay so as you can see if this kind of this is the condition okay this is the result condition that is, okay so if that is happening that is o b a this o a into o b is a constant so in this particular direction this n point p is going to trace a straight line and straight line direction will be perpendicular to this line okay so this is the direction in which you can expect uh, a straight line as a move so, so now here you can see how it is behaving uh, in the straight line motion so if you need now if you want to use this particular procedure mechanism to generate the straight path so ultimately if a link has to be given a straight line this way kind of motion then at this end of this particular mechanism we have to connect the whatever is the particular thing okay Understood? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, you I think I was on mute, no? Yes, yes, yes. I think I was on mute on the next part of this quiz. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, 
now now i have put sortable properly okay these things already we have discussed up to this pass i think it was okay yes yes or no let me know uh, yes sir that's why you people should respond in between okay whenever i am asking some question so if i sometimes wait for you to give the response so in that case actually this get us so okay so once again what i have shown just like in the previous case here also we have obtained this ob to oa this product as constant so here this is the oa this is ob so if that is happening then this b point we know is going to give us a straight line motion okay and but we should be sure about the direction so direction will be what so this direction will be perpendicular to the diameter okay so if i show the dotted line here so this side along this side it is going to have terms okay so similarly we can have different other mechanism some of the mechanism you can just go through by yourself so which are easy only so see can anyone tell me Let's, now we have seen that basically in this direction we are going to get that particular straight line motion. If suppose I need, I am going to use this particular mechanism only, and uh, in this direction I need the straight line behavior. What to be done? What can I do? We are getting along this direction now, but I want along this direction. What can be done? Any idea? No. So you don't have to think too hard. So in this particular case, you think of the simple solution. Just the whole mechanism you can orient by that rotate by that mass angle. Okay. So if this is the case, so from here to here, whatever is the angle, the mechanism direction you can orient by that mass angle. Automatically, you will get the direction of point B movement along this particular direction. Right. Understood? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the next type is basically we have got a uh, Scott Russell mechanism, which once again is a kind of adjusted line movement mechanism. So, as you can see from this particular diagram, so what happens? We have got this particular crank, okay, and uh, we have got this particular link, which is kind of extended link. So, uh, O A P that is another link, okay, so which is joining a point that is the end point of the crank with the slider. The slider is sliding within this particular guide okay now uh, what happens here the basic concept is here the straight line motion is not basically generated but we are actually copying and uh, somewhat if you don't think of this particular extended portion extended part then uh, if you only look at this particular portion then it will be somewhat similar to reciprocal uh, engine that we have already studied in the case of slider so uh, what does it have basically consists of a six member and the moving member p which is nothing but this okay the slider okay now as you can see all of these are hinge or turning okay so it can give rise to turning pair, okay so now this particular straight link this link which is joining the end point of the crank to the slider this one okay so here also it is connected by a turning pair to link what to link this particular link and the link p okay that means this is a pin join and uh, the design of this particular mechanism is such that so this extended person that you have seen so a point is exactly at the mid of this okay that means oa O A is equal to A P equal to this portion and it itself is equal to this link. Okay. So now because of this, this is what happens. So as this is evident from this particular of uh, you can see in this particular animation. So uh, this particular link is going down. 
and here in this case if you look at this x this portion this portion if you concentrate on this person in this diagram in this uh, animation so you'll see basically this location this pin location is moving up and down so basically the horizontal movement of the slider which is happening here is copied in this particular direction that's why in the very beginning we have said here the motion is not generated but copied okay so horizontal motion of this p is copied in this direction vertical direction by the extent portion that is the q point okay if you look here it will be very evident yes so this is another uh, I think that is known as the Scott Russell mechanism. The main thing is here this link length has to be maintained. Okay, so A has to be the midpoint. Midpoint means automatically A, this person and this person is same. But another thing that you have to take care is that itself, that particular length itself is equal to this. Length. Okay, so similarly, already about what's mechanism we have already discussed in the previous. So, uh, one of the previous sections so i'm not going to discuss in details but you can just go through it so here we have already seen that basically uh, these are the two main positions right and this is the link which is connecting them okay in the mid position this and this these two links are parallel okay and uh, the point on particular point that is this particular red point is going to trace the approximately so the name itself suggests so from here to here if you consider so this mass is kind of exact straight line and after that it deviates okay after this mass, i hope there is no confusion so actually uh, in our university power has gone that's why it is lagging i think my slides are not changing right now right Is it changing? My slides are changing. I hope no. no sir. I'm waiting for. Yes, I'm just wait. I am just waiting for the internet to resume from university side. Just in the meantime, if you have any confusion, you can ask. From someone, some noise is coming. Some noise is coming. So you can uh, mute yourself. Okay, I think it should be visible now. Uh, I'm going to share one second. It's visible, right? Let me know. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So now this what mechanism is an approximate straight line motion mechanism. So similarly, we have got another approximate straight line motion mechanism known as the modified Scott Russell mechanism. So here, what happens? Uh, basically, uh, the difference is in terms of the this length. Okay, uh, just now we have discussed now Scott Russell motion mechanism, where we have seen this length and that length. A was the mid position as well as that means A is my impression means AP is equal to AQ and it was equal to OA. So now in this particular case, uh, AP is not equal to AQ. So that is not mandatory. And uh, the points P and Q, this particular point P and uh, Q, they are definitely constant to move along. It is P along horizontal direction and Q along vertical direction. Only. And uh, what happened? Because that is not this is not the exact midpoint, so it is going to form a kind of similar to elliptical travel. So now that means any point A on PQ on this particular point link PQ, it is going to trace an ellipse with uh, where semi-major axis will be AQ. This one is going to behave like the semi-major axis of a ellipse, and uh, AP is going to behave like the semi-major axis. And uh, for 
just like if you just uh, connect something like this it is not going to behave properly right so for that certain condition has to must hold good and that particular condition in case of your modified cortex motion mechanism is this link length oa has to be equal to ap square this portion divided by a q that means this ratio has to be maintained then only you can expect that you can go to approximate straight line motion mechanism out of it Similarly, we have got uh, another approximate straight line motion mechanism known as the Grasshopper mechanism. So here, basically, just like in the case of Grasshopper, you have seen the uh, from legs of the Grasshopper, like so it mimics somewhat like that. So here, basically, from a uh, small stroke, this is this is uh, your uh, you just have to go through by yourself to find out what are the things important. Things, okay. So basic interesting thing I am saying here, I can say small crank we have got and very large stroke we can get. Just so like in the example for if you have seen somehow you might have seen in the uh, those typewriters. Okay. So basically here you can see the grasshopper mechanism is there, and we are going to get a very long stroke with a very short crank. That was the uniqueness of it. So as you can see, the these are Q1, Q and Q1. These are nothing but two extreme points. Similarly, P and P1. These are nothing but the two extreme points for the same point. Okay, so don't get confused about that. So this you can either also draw like dotted. Okay, so as to show the two extreme points. So that can also be done. So it basically uh, we are going to get a long stroke with a short crank. That is the main unit. Similarly, you have got a reset mechanism. Anyone can go through that. Okay, that is basically once again. Uh, oh, oh, oh is the fixed link that we have okay and uh, this o a a b and the uh, o one b these are nothing but those link okay so it's a four bar mechanism your cross links o a and the uh, o one b these two these uh, important factor that you must know is they has to be equal in length okay and the uh, AB in the AB link, there will be point P that is the midpoint. So that particular point is going to trace the approximate straight line motion mechanism, provided you are make, maintaining this particular ratio. This AB is to OO1, this length OO1, okay. AB is this particular length, okay. AB is to OO1 is to OA. Or you can also write OB because O and OB are equal only. Okay, so that has to be maintained in this ratio. One is to two is to two point five. That means AB if this length is one unit, then the this base portion length has to be two units, and uh, this length as well as this length has to be two point five units. In that case, and uh, definitely this turning pairs are required. So in that basic case, so the midpoint is going to press the. Yes, up to this point, I hope it's uh, clear. Once again, uh, on the bench. Up to this point, I hope it should be clear. There are easy things only. As no one is responding, I hope it's clear. So similarly, uh, yes, this is this you can see how it is generating the straight line. Okay, so now that means the interesting thing about that is, so as you know, that means you are going to get a kind of straight line through that particular point. So if you arbitrarily choose that particular point, it's not going to you are will be failed will be a failure so you will not be able to generate that particular whatever is the intended okay so you have to make sure that this particular link lengths are in this particular ratio and uh, they are arranged in this particular fashion with your this kind of pin join only okay similar is the robot uh, mechanism also is there which is another approximate straight line motion mechanism then just go through. i hope that was is clear no one is responding i hope it's clear so now this uh, application of this engine in the uh, like a uh, straight line motion mechanism is also seen in uh, this engine indicators 
which basically we use in the different engines for keeping graphical records of pressure which is there inside the seat so now what happens so if we are the maintenance engineer and all so there will be different uh, like considering the automobile sector or some other plant sectors okay there will be like uh, you have to uh, constantly monitor what is the pressure inside that particular cylinder so that it has to be it has to remain within a safe zone okay there is always a, a like safe level of uh, your pressure okay that has to be maintained within the cylinder if it goes beyond that you should have the indication about that so that corrective measure can be taken while there is still time for doing that okay so similarly this engine indicators are nothing but kind of uh, that uh, one that kind of uh, instrument which keeps graphical records of pressure inside the cylinder which is there maintained inside the cylinder and those graphs are also actually known as the indicator diagram so i really follow up here this from thermodynamics and also all those pv diagrams etc those kind of diagrams you have seen that so those are also nothing but a kind of indicator diagram where you get a like uh, graphical record okay that is also is a kind of thing. so what is the uh, basic idea of that so how we uh, use this particular graphic uh, this particular type of straight line motion mechanism for giving the indication about the pressure inside the cylinder. So the main intention is the basic type or working methodology is part of that. We use a small uh, auxiliary piston cylinder arrangement. Like and in that particular smaller one, so the same pressure as that of the main cylinder, it is going to act. So now whatever will be the behavior or the pressure, whatever will be the, depending on the behavior of the pressure, whether it's going up or down or like that, okay? So now based on that, the uh, piston cylinder and the smaller one also will get actuated, okay? It will also, suppose if the pressure is more, suppose then the upper one to be lifted or like that, okay? So now the corresponding proportionate piston move, Proportional piston movement means due to the pressure variation, what will happen? Sometimes it is going up, sometimes it is going down, or like that. So we are going to take the proportionate piston volume. That means if suppose this mass is the sense, this mass is the this sense in the displacement or the piston movement. Or if this is the sense in the uh, pressure, okay, if this it is lowered, then it will be lowered by suppose this mass amount. So that uh, from the geometry itself, we know suppose how much pressure is required to actuate the piston movement by how much um, displacement. Okay, so those things are not uh, things are known, and uh, this particular proportionate piston movement will be recorded, and uh, it will be continuously monitored by using suitable mechanism. And that suitable mechanism is nothing but somehow or the other we are going to use some uh, use of that particular in straight line motion. Okay. So that is the basically idea about the engine indicator. So here there are so many engine indicators like the simplex indicator, Crosby indicator, Thompson indicator, etc., etc., and that you can consider as an asset. Let us go through the different types of uh, engine indicators. Okay, make a note on that. Understood? This is your asset. All of you have heard now, but this is one of the assignment. I hope the answer is yes. If no, you will be able to know. If there is any confusion up to this pass, you can let me know. Okay. In the uh, Okay, so this condition of exit straight line motion, how to get that, okay, already I have discussed, that means uh, here, uh, straight. Okay, we have said that this. Uh, okay, in this direction, perpendicular to Okay, this is the step of this. This is already discussed. So, engine indicators, it is uh, one of the best examples of application of straight line motion mechanism, I have already said. So, uh, an indicator of a reciprocating engine, it's basically is an instrument which is going to keep the graphical records of pressure inside the cylinder during its piston shift. And that is known as what? Indicator. Diagram. 
I'm just repeating those things. Okay. So now in the formula series, what will happen? And the uh, indicator series there, that is a uh, smaller one, smaller size. If a small piston is there, there's the other gas pressure, which is which actually you need to monitor. It is going to act. Okay. Um. This this indicator series that is a smaller one is connected to the engine main cylinder. Okay. So now, what happens? Everything is connected to the main, main cylinder. So the uh, heavy pressure, that is the sensing pressure of the gas or steam, whatever it was there in the main in the cylinder. So that is going to get communicated to the indicator piston. And now, as something, some indicator piston is being pushed, okay, by suppose the sensing pressure, or sometimes the pressure will drop. Okay. So in that particular case. Accordingly, the piston will produce certain displacement, which will be proportional to the pressure. Okay, and uh, now that particular displacement, how much everything? So it will be actually constrained by mostly uh, spring, uh, spring, spring laden system, and uh, we get direct measure of the gas or resources. That means if this mass has to be the displacement, then we know that. The corresponding pressure required is this mass. Okay, so directly automatically we get a indication of the pressure. So this notes I can provide. So here you can see how the simplex indicator is working. So the the basic of uh, mechanism on which it is working now, specifically a uh, pantograph mechanism. As we have already discussed, pantograph mechanism. Right. I hope all of you recall pantograph mechanism, which can duplicate all those maps, etc. We have discussed now. So now here, uh, this is the smaller piston cylinder arrangement. So here, this is the piston drop that we have, okay. And from this side, the actual pressure from the engine side is working here. Now, depending on what is the pressure value, so it is going to accept this, okay. So suppose this mechanism will move from here to here, okay. So now, generally, what happens? If by the help of the appropriate uh, whatever is the mechanism that we use, actually, this small displacement is we get in the figure form. Okay. Just like you can try to correlate it with the seismographs and all. Okay, seismograph, all of you have heard. We, what do we do with the seismograph? What do we do? What is the usefulness of seismograph? What does it do? What record does it take? Have you heard about earthquake? And I hope all of you know that we can take a measure of that. And that is something but this device can keep track of that. Okay. So here basically the signal is amplified. So here is also similar. Thing. So the smaller displacement will be there because of small of variation in pressure, but we want to get it in a magnified manner. So for getting the magnification, basically we are using different different this particular mechanism. And now depending on what kind of mechanism we are using, so cross free indicator, simplex indicator, all those uh, Thomson indicator, etc. etc. The basic principle of person is somewhat same, but the mechanism differs. Okay. So ultimately it will be accepted the smaller uh, that that uh, piston side will be uh, the original in the inside pressure will be communicated to the smaller structure, okay. And that's whatever uh, motion uh, get okay, displaced motion that we replicate in a or you can say the in a enlarged fashion, okay. And uh, that particular measure we take. So, I hope uh, that's clear. So, with this, we'll stop here for today. In the next class, we'll be discussing about using the mechanism, we saw some problems with the how much uh, angular movement etc should be there for a for perfect steel. Okay. So for today we'll stop here. If you have any question you can ask. If more than respond to your name calls. Nilutpal. Nilutpal. Absent. Shankar. Present, sir. Arsisman. Arsisman. Absent. Rehan. Rehan. Absent. Arthur Patil. Present, sir.
symbols like it's a some cryptocurrency kind of symbol na yes uh, elon musk uh, did it uh, yes you yeah. seems like you are very much interested or you are interested yes, in the yes, animal yes sir okay you like the animal okay so maybe you can sense by uh, some human figure okay so anyhow so we'll stop here when we'll meet then we'll meet in the next class Thank you sir. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.